Hi, Jonah here with Parts Built 3D, and today I'm doing a short video on how to remove the Y axis bracket. And this is the bracket that holds the X axis rods and slides back and forth on the Y axis. The Y axis bracket on a FlashForge Finder and also a FlashForge Inventor 2. And this is an Inventor 2 that I'm showing you on but the process is the same for a FlashForge Finder. Uh, the first thing you want to do is remove your X-axis motor and the X-axis belt, which I've already done here. When you remove the X-axis belt, you'll be able to take this little pulley assembly out. And this little pulley assembly has some wee little bearings on it. So be careful not to lose those. Just keep it all in one piece and set it aside for when you have to put it back on. So once that you have your x-axis belt removed, removing the, you want to remove these rods from the carriage. So the first thing we're going to do is just take the belt off the carriage, which you just grab it and slide it out, and then push it up out of the way. And then I'm going to put a thumb right here and a thumb right here, and we're just going to pop the plastic carriage off the linear bearings. Just push it, boom, off they go. Now, once that carriage is pushed back, it gives me room to pull on the belts a little bit. So I push back on the carriage and I pull the belt, the, the, the rods, not the belts, the rods, and just let it tip down. So then the rods come out. Now I can take this and you got to kind of, when you tip it forward, it's going to snap back on to the linear bearings. That's okay. You just tip it forward and up like this and then pop it down and off. And it's off. So once, once that's off, you can pull the rods out and it frees up the room to take the motor side bracket off as well. And when you're putting them back on, you want to do the same thing, but you do it in reverse order. So you'd put your motor side bracket on, you'd put the rods in, and what we do is then you snap this part on. There's one thing I want to show you that's important. So, cut it off. You can take the rods out. So when you put it back together, you'll put the rods in. Make sure your belt is not tangled. And I'll go ahead and turn this. So you can see what I'm doing on this side. So as I said, it's, it's pretty much the same thing to take this one off once you have the rods off. Uh, all you do though is you take your belt out and you pull the bracket towards you is the only difference instead of pushing it away, which actually makes it a little easier to get off because it doesn't get caught on the back of the printer there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on. Line up the bearings, just snap it on. And then we're gonna put the X rods back in. And one thing I found is it's, it can sometimes you think you've got the X rods all the way in and they're not. So you have to make sure you get them all the way in. Okay, now I'll turn it around so you can see the other way. So you take the X rod and I can see right here, this one's not in all the way. So I got to kind of twist it a little bit And if you don't make sure they're all the way in, it makes the next step really difficult. So when we're putting the, the idler, I call it the idler side. It's you got the motor side and then the idler side because it has your little idler bearing in it, idler pulley. So when you're putting the idler pulley side on, we do the same thing we did to take it off, but in reverse. We line up our bearings and we snap it on. Uh, the one thing I wanted to mention before we go any further is 
if you've taken your X rods completely out, like you've done, but you're doing both sides of the brackets, when you put them back on, make sure your belt is on correctly because it's very easy to put it back together and have the belt on the outside of one of the rods or something. And then you have to take the whole thing apart to get the belt into the right spot. So make sure your belt is lined up so that it will go from your motor over to your pulley and it's not wrapped around the rods or anything. So now to put this back on, I'm gonna go ahead and line it up with the bearings. And then we're just gonna push it up, snap it on like that, push it down, push the belt out of the way. So this is the only part that can be a little tricky and it's very tricky if you did not get your rods in all the way. But if you did, then it's, it's, not, it's not too hard. You just gotta take it like this, and I can feel right here, my left rod is actually not in quite all the way. That's a little better. You can tell because it, it makes contact before the back rod there. But then you just take it like so, and if you're having a lot of trouble getting it on because you're trying to push rods into a hole that's very tight and you're pushing it at an angle so it can be difficult what you can do is just snap the whole thing off like that and then end it just a little bit and what that does it moves the whole thing back a little bit and then it fits right it goes right on so that's definitely a way to do it if you're having trouble. And then snap it on like so. Now we have our belt and we put our motor back on, we put in our belt and put this little guy in. I think I put it in backwards. Okay, it's just seeing which way I wasn't paying attention when I took this out. So when you put it in, the little the tooth pulley goes towards the back and the spacer towards the front. Just like that. Yep, that looks good. And then So one thing is when you, after you get it all back together and you put your, your belts back in, it's very easy to have your axes a little bit out of alignment. So you do want to line them up the best you can, get them as square as you can, just kind of sitting naturally, and then push the belts in. And then there's some videos on running test prints and making sure your axis is square. Because if you don't have them completely square and you go try to print a completely square print, it's not gonna print square. So you wanna make sure you get those lined up properly when you put it back together. But that is how to take off and put back on the Y bracket on the Finder and the Adventure or the Inventor 2. Uh, and I hope this helps for replacing your Y bracket. And if you like the video, go ahead and give a thumbs up. Thank you.